Hi, everyone. Yeah, I know. I'm looking a little like a basset hound, and I sound like one, too, I think. Um, I'm not going to bay at the moon or howl for you, though. Um, so I did hours and hours of work outside, and um, the older I get, the more allergies I seem to develop. And um, uh, I'm pretty much allergic to all of the stuff outside. So I'm just going to sound like this for a little bit, but I feel great. Um, so, and yes, I have a little bit more to do today while we still have some sunshine. But look at this, man. Look at this, you all. I know I'm just digressing. I am all over the place today. We're going to talk about the energy. I think there's some energy shifts, and today is the day, and it feels good. Um, all right, isn't this pretty? I found this at a consignment store. It's just beautiful. It's just one little cup and saucer, but it has pretty roses on it. I just love it so much. Mm. All right, so anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, so even though I look and sound like, <laughs> like I may need an iron lung, I really don't. Again, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the energy is odd and it shifted. Um, I think um, awarenesses are coming to light. Awarenesses of who you can trust and who you can't. And if you feel like, uh, and I'm going to use myself as example, I feel like um, there's just been something I couldn't quite put my finger on, but I knew that there were some disingenuous attitudes around me and I saw it in my, my sleep last night. So hopefully all of you are going through this aha epiphanal moment. And I think it's because of the way the energy is moving. Um, we are moving through what was the January, February, March transition time, seeds, planet growing, whatever. And I've talked about that a bunch in other videos. Today, for whatever reason, is the day. It feels like things have shifted. Sing things have sort of like the cogs in the wheel have clicked and they're all in in alignment now we are getting ready to roll really quickly and really fast into um, a new segment of the year so between i'm gonna say help me out spirit um between now and um two months from now june 15th there's going to be a shift and then between june and july there's going to be kind of a weird stasis i feel like and then it's going to jump back up again in august and september and whoa life is not going to look the same i'm i'm sorry guys i know my hair is <laughs> i am clean i i promise you i just look ridiculous because i was just like eh, yank it up all right <laughs> um yeah I don't know if this is really her quote, but um, I believe Joan Rivers had a quote that was like, uh, don't be afraid to laugh at yourself or you could be missing out on the biggest joke of or the best joke of all. Loved her so much. Um, anyway, so um, <clears throat> we can't take ourselves too seriously, that's for sure. Um, oh, and I'm hearing most of the people who do are the ones that are the ones that might be problematic for us. Okay, so anyway... Um, so yeah, we are today, I think, and for the rest of this week, you're going to see a shift in energy where you are moving ahead where it feels like you're almost breathless, like you're like, it's all of a sudden you feel like you're running a race and you can't get there fast enough. It's okay. You don't have to run the race. Just understand that's the energy around us right now. Thank you. That makes, that helps to make it more sense. So if you feel pushed, kind of harried and, and in a hurry, it's okay because things are ramping up and we're moving into, we're getting ready to go into the part of manifestation where it's going to happen even faster and we are going to um, go into action mode, okay? So we're getting ready to move into action mode. And so let's get to some cards. How about that? Oh, y'all, I need another drink first. Hold on. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And sometimes, like yesterday, I ate healthy food. I did all that because I knew I needed it. And I knew I needed a little extra from doing all the heavy work I did yesterday. And then I'm going to do again today. 
but my uh, emotional eating moment was the half a bag of ginger snaps. <laughs> I love ginger snaps. Anyway, all right, so just, just I felt like I needed to confess. Um, and also there is a message in that because Spirit's like, come on, hurry up. <laughs> They're not really that forceful. I, I just put that on myself. Um, that run in the race feeling, remember? But they... Um, they are like, remember, that was a message earlier in the week, or last week. It's, um, it's okay if you feel like you need that extra boost. Because whatever is happening, you're working it off. Now, that doesn't mean eat an entire cake and go into a coma. You know, be smart about it. But I knew when to stop. And then I gave the rest of the ginger snaps. I just put them out in the yard for whatever animals wanted them. Mm. All right. So... I got a new deck. Adam Barillet, he has a YouTube channel. Strikes me as a very pleasant man. I enjoy his work immensely. And he works with essential oils and um, crystals. He's known for his crystal work and stone work and just the, the, the metaphysical meanings behind them and how to use them and their correspondences and blah, 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 all that stuff. Cool as all get out. Lovely channel, beautifully done too. He has like music and stuff and stuff I don't have. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, he has a deck called Crystal Connections. And that's a big chunk of Laramar on the front. So I love that. Uh, the cards are really pretty. So, and it's all in one. You don't even need a book. So they're photographs that he's taken of the stones. And on the back, he's got the messages he wants for people. So I do love my crystals. So I thought, and I worked with these last night, cleansed, cleared, did all of that. So let's go into our opening statement about what does spirit want us to know? What is the collective message? What is the message for the collective that spirit wants to start with? What will set the tone? What is the stone that would be helpful for people in the collective to use today? Um, and I feel like we're going to need more than, <clears throat> more than one card because to reach different segments of the collective. Mother, Father, God, please come into this space in this reading. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I feel like there's one more maybe. Okay. Let's leave it there. Let me put this one on the floor. I did a lot yesterday. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on. Interesting. Two green stones. Um, all right. So, for part of the collective, jade. A piece of jade. And jade comes in a lot of different colors, okay? Um, the bottom, The I'm just going to read the bottom part here. The message there is so much goodness in the world, and I gladly share it with everyone. Okay. Uh, allow random act of kind, kind act, random, uh, allow random acts of kindness to fill your day. Okay. We'll come back and get into a little more depth. All right. Aventuring. Aventuring. Uh, um, I hope that comes through with the right color. It's actually, um, uh, it's, it's a light kind of minty looking green. And this is the rough, okay? If it's polished and tumbled, it'll have a little flex in it sometimes. Sometimes aventuring is mistaken for jade, interestingly, which is interesting that they're side by side. Um, and aventuring, you can tell the difference because it'll have like an iridescent fleck in it. Um, thank you, universe, for the new opportunities you offer me. Okay, that's the mantra. And then the last one is black obsidian, which is actually a naturally forming glass from heat, um, kind of a volcanic stone. I have the strength needed to succeed. This is also a good one for grounding and protection. So for any of you who are feeling a little wobbly, a little uncertain, not steady on your feet, I'm getting like almost someone who feels like they're in one of those bouncy blow up rooms, you know, or the, your feet are not sturdy under you, or you feel like you need an extra bit of shield. If you're feeling vulnerable, that's the word. Thank you. Um, if you're feeling a little vulnerable, try to find some black obsidian or really any black 
stone will work uh, for this, but it's um, black obsidian in particular is formed under pressure from heat and it is a volcanic type of glass as I understand it. And, um, and it's absolutely beautiful. All the obsidians are beautiful and there's a bunch of different kinds of obsidian. Black obsidian is a very grounding and kind of uh, protective stone. Okay, in it, it, they're they're telling me like the Harry Potter cloak of invisibility. Okay, that's your black obsidian. These two I, are very interesting. They are again, like I said, very often when a venturing is polished, it's mistaken for jade frequently, um, and jade does come in all sorts of colors. Uh, it's not just always green. Both jade and aventurine are considered stones of prosperity. Um, jade is extremely hard. It's a very hard stone to try to carve. Um, it's difficult to carve. Um, so there's got to be a message why these two came out at the same time. They're saying that you don't have to This is not a simulant for jade, even though it's often mistaken for it. It is a beautiful, mature, vibrant stone all on its own. So if adventuring is for you, understand, I feel like it's someone is trying to make you fit into a box and make you appear to be something you're not. And that's why these two came out together. So this may, these two may go hand in hand. For some of you, it'll be just one or the other. Both have to do with physical healing, prosperity, wealth, success, that kind of thing. Um, but for someone in the collective, or maybe a group of you, there may be a little imposter syndrome going on where you feel like you're not good enough, or you feel like someone's trying to make you be something you're not. There is a unique beauty all on its own in adventuring, and it is a gorgeous stone in its rough state or polished. Um, I wish I had some out here, but um, take pride in who you are as you are. That's the message. All right. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. And thank you, Adam Barely, for these beautiful cards. I absolutely adore them. And his name is B-A-R-R-A-L-E-T if you want to look up his channel. Very cool stuff. Mm. All right. It just seems like a nice person. I like that. Okay. I should probably add him on my resources page. Oh, and there's a, a sound healing center um, that I'm going to add to the um, resources page too. So I need to update both of those. It, it probably won't be today. But um, definitely um, I will get both of those on there. Okay. So, so keep checking that because I'm going to keep adding to it. Um, all right. Now, I'm going to use the Sirens song, the deck that a friend got for me. It is a combination of a Lenormand and, a, and the Kipper deck, decks. Um, man, I'm so scattered. All right. There's an incoming message. What is the incoming message? Spirit, what do, you, what do you have to say? What is it you need to let us know? Be proud of who you are. Be proud of the work you've done. Understand that you are not in competition with anyone. Someone needs to hear this. Someone may have been sending some negative energy, and this is for that person. You can be proud of who you are and where you are. It's not a competition. There's enough for everyone. Someone is feeling hurt. Someone is feeling unseen someone is feeling like a fraud everybody has their own abilities and their own way of doing things it's okay to be who you are and be you are be who you are in all ways and at all times when you find your niche when you find what makes you happy what makes you happiest do it because you love it not because you think there will be an outcome now that might be more of an avocation or a hobby but that will lead to the community, the growth, and the personal um, 
supplementation to income, way of life, uh, and for some of you, it's simply wanting respect. And that will, that will happen, and that will come when you do that. Thank you, Spirit. And that was a very kind and gentle message and said with the greatest of affection. Please understand that. Okay. So if you're sending hate or jealousy or trying to tear someone down, ask yourself why, because I feel like you're not seeing your own light and divinity. You're seeing through the eyes of jealousy and rage directed at the people who always told you you weren't good enough. And Spirit's on it today. Spirit is on it. That was a wonderful message. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I love you so much. All right. Let's see what the Siren's Song has to say to us today. Ooh, it's a lot of alliteration, a lot of S's. All right. What is the message for the collective? See, my voice is getting better, too. The more I talk, the better it gets. Man, cards are coming out by the tons. All right. All right, they said to keep those, too. A big old chunk. We've got a big old story still. Not so much story. It's a reading. It's a, it's a reading. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm Psychic Medium. Please subscribe and like the channel if so inclined. <laughs> I forgot to say all that. Um... And here's the thing. Wow, a lot going on here. Hold on. i got to make more room. So, oh, they're already starting to tell me what's going on uh, before I even get all these laid out. So, Spirit is saying, I was just asked, do I still need to show the cards? They're saying yes. Um but they want me just to say what I need to say first. Um, Cause I haven't even really delved into this, uh, but yeah, I'm not a trained card reader. Uh, I am a psychic. I am a medium and I read energy. So that's what I'm pulling through a lot of energy today. So I will show these, but I'm not even going to look at them cause they're telling me what's going on. Um, someone is, a, is in the midst of a budding, romantic partnership now not budding like you just met but like it's been going on for a little bit someone is going to get uh again jealousy has come jealousy's been coming up a lot come on y'all get over it um be nice just be nice uh radiate the energy you want to receive because that's what you're gonna get i hate to tell you all right i'm sorry my little aside I am sorry for interfering in the in the message. Okay, come on, Spirit, help me out. Thank you. I'm ready. All right. Okay, so there is this this relationship that is developing, and it doesn't feel like war. Oh, it could be work. So there's two ways to look at this. It could be work, or it could be romance. It's not like family or a straight friendship, like purely friendship. It's like romance version of friendship so romance and business we got two ways of looking at this mm. it is growing it's developing um it's becoming something i see a pillar so like a a, a column and it's so it's becoming it it's developing a core of strength but there's going to be someone coming in who's going to try to throw a wrench in it so someone is going to come in because there, there's some kind of jealousy or envy. I keep hearing the word envy, and I know there's a card like that, and I'm seeing that card in my head. Is that on this one? No, that's not in this deck. Um, um, they really don't want anything. I think this may have come up once before. It sounds familiar. But this person is going to make a lame last-ditch effort, and they're going to try to hit... Mm, Okay, this is kind of devious. So this person is going to try to make claims that one are false and two are aimed to try to derail or hurt whomever this is for. It's that, that 
Spirit is telling me it's that whole thing about misery loves company. Well, misery needs to just go on by itself. Um, misery loves company. And that's the whole purpose. And it's not that they're going to say anything negative about the collective or whomever this is for. They're going to, it's going to be some pity play. It's going to be some poor pitiful me thing. It's going to be that all of a sudden they want to shift the, the focus back on themselves. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And then all of a sudden, the whomever is in the collective that this is for, you're going to see the truest face of this other side of the equation. You're going to see the truest face, and it's going to be even darker than you originally thought, which is a little creepy and scary. Um, so just be ready. Just be ready. It may cause some strife and friction in the um, I don't want to say documentation, but in the balance of things. But everything is going to be OK. The message is if you give in once, you will continually give in the rest of your life. Now that's for work and the romance. So both of these. So that was more for the romance thing. Somebody's going to try to push some buttons. Um, and when they see it doesn't work, eventually, it won't be right away. I mean, it could be a couple of years down the road. Eventually, the other person who's got the envy issues, um, they may finally come to a point where they're going to have, yeah, it's going to be about, I'm getting like two to three years. So it's going to be a little bit off for them. They are going to have a crossroads where they have to come to terms with, oh my God, this is my life. And age is going to feel real all of a sudden. And maybe it will be the catalyst to make them, when they see that you all in the collective that this fits for as a romance reading, that you all are doing well, everything is good, healthier than ever, happier than ever, everything is coming together, and they're going to say, well, why don't I have that? And they're either going to have to look within, and that's the crossroads. They're either going to have to look within and decide how they need to change or get help. There's also going to be some other extenuating circumstances within the three-year mark that will make them, three-and-a-half-year mark that will make them reevaluate Um why they're the way they are and then that crossroads is either they're going to come through it stronger better and a little more healed or they're just going to kind of continually internally crumble but i don't think so i think this person's going to have or whomever's on the other side of this like like i always like i like to say the equation to make sense the other person who now is can't see the forest for the trees in their own life, um, that person, I think, is going to do some inward work and maybe a little healing, but it's going to take, it's going to take, I think, fully. It's going to start in two years, three years, three and a half years. There's going to be another thing that will happen that will make them feel like the string on their helium balloon got cut and they're like, what the hell do I, or I'm sorry, what, what do I do now? And then that will be the catalyst where they have to turn in because they can't they have to come to terms with who they are it's going to be healing it's going to be tough it's going to be really tough but it's going to be really healing and it's something that only they can do on their own and then that's when they will go off and find their peace and happiness in whatever way that is now that's kind of a long-term reading and we all have free will we have free will. Please let me say that again. You don't have to take any of this. If any of it resonates, great. If none of it resonates, hang out with us and drink some coffee. And um, wow, my voice is so much better. Yay. This is like the third one of these, though. Uh, that helps. And so, but anyway, so that person has free will, so they can choose to ignore it and just 
go head first into a dark pit of self-pity and stay there. But I kind of feel like they're going to start seeing the light a little bit, and that's good. Um, now, for the business end of it, for, for you guys, um, <laughs> you're going to take an attitude of, um, it's going to be temporary, the situation. For some of you, it's because you're close enough to retirement, and some of you, it's because there's going to be a realization that they, the, the company needs you more than you need them. It would be hard, but you could survive and do something else. But the company really does need you more than you need them. So that puts you in a unique position. That's all they want me to say about that. They don't want me to say anything else about the business part because there's still something that needs to unfold first. Okay. All right, well, let me show you what these are. So there's Rich Girl, Coffin, which is an ending, and The Anchor, Hope, Marriage, Heart, and that's a happy heart with roses, Deep Thoughts, Man and Deep Thoughts, Plenty of fish, 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 uh, prosperity, wellness, another marriage card, whip, which could also be passion, not just self-flagellation, um, great fortune, incoming news, a book, and a good lady. So, in, okay. All right. Interestingly, it starts with kind of privileged, snippy, rich girl. And it ends with good lady, a more mature woman. Now, I'm not going to add to it because I think Spirit just said everything that needed to be said about it. But I could see that based on these cards. Okay. All right. Thank you. Boy, that was fast. All right. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's 27 minutes. Gosh. Ow. Mm, yeah. A little sore. Mm. Elbow and back and stuff. A little icky. All right. Let's see. Now, let's... Um, Let's get an animal ally for the day. Spirits of the Animals Oracle. And... Mm, big gulp. It had gotten kind of cold, so I want to finish it off. All right. Okay. I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to do one more. All right. This one? Just one today? No? One more? No? Okay. Oh, come on. This one. And the one on the bottom. Okay. Lizard regeneration. We've had that one before. All right. What do you want? Uh, what do you want me to say about the lizard? You are responsible for your own growth. So for everyone, you are responsible for your own growth. You can have mentors, teachers, helpers but you've got to do the internal work and want to regenerate and change. We had this one too. Uh, adventure, as opposed to aventuring. Uh, orca whale. You are more powerful than you know. The last sentence was the only one that mattered. You are more important, or you're more powerful. Ooh, important, yes. You are more important and more powerful than you know. Tell me what I need to know about orcas. Something about the sound. Sound, sound healing. And I talked about that sound healing center earlier. Very cool. It's called the Sound Healing Center of Lexington. All right. Um, oh, interesting. They're saying, all right, so I asked Spirit about this one. So for a group of you, 
what what I'm being told is that it's always amazing how people can fear like the whole killer killer whale thing people fear what they don't understand and they have anyone who may be not holding the best of intentions for you it's because they actually fear you once they learn that they like that lizard have the power of regeneration and that they can do things for themselves the fear will be over and there will be no need for competition okay but you keep on being a whale you just emit whatever sounds you need it's a healing vibration and also don't dull if other people are afraid of you because you're just standing in your strength stand even more firm in your strength be an example of what people can be and then we have ram perseverance that's kind of what i was just saying and i hadn't even looked at the card never give up and good luck will follow so be sure-footed and stand in your strength thank you spirit man spirit is really mm. Spirit is really coming to the rescue and jumping in. I don't even have to hardly ask. They're just like right there next to me. Thank you so much. I love you, Spirit. I love you, Mother and Father God. I love you, Guardians and Guides. This card, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Coins. Why am I looking at this? This is an odd one. I don't particularly care for this card. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay, this is a random stray message. This is why they wanted me to do this, and it was only one card. I am going to ask for a clarifier, though. Um, the reason why this makes me uncomfortable is that there's nothing but the pentacles or the coins on the wall, and he's painting her, but he's painting her as a big coin. So if someone is using you uh, for monetary gain or thinking you have more than they do, and vice versa it doesn't matter and, and it could be male female it doesn't matter so whichever role applies it could be a man in the chair and a woman painting it it, it do whatever you want that fits or it could be one of each of the same you know whatever it's it's an energy whoa hello it's the energy of the card if you think that someone may be taking advantage and I feel like it's a financial situation. Just, oh, they're showing me now the Black Obsidian card. Surround yourself in that energy. Uh, maybe if you have any um, black stones. Black Obsidian has a little bit of translucency, not much. Uh, light can kind of reflect through it, depending on what it is um, and how thin it is. But... Um, just that that uh, black kyanite card may have been for you so it's good to ground shield keep your eyes open make sure you can see right into what's going on and then let's do a clarifying card for that oh you've got to be kidding me see this is how it works mm -hmm. yeah i shuffled them and this is what flew out, the same card. I ask for a clarifier, and this time it's this one, the Two of Cups, which is a beautiful card. And it's usually significant of um, loving relationships or partnerships or, you know, whether it's work or, oh, this is, okay. So if it's on the friendship or romantic or family end, anything interpersonally, then just watch who's asking for what okay if someone is asking for too much then it's an imbalanced relationship and be aware of it okay look at motivations if it's work related and i feel like i'm getting the ding 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 this is about work so for a big bunch of you if it's work related 
Are you giving more than you should? Are you being adequately compensated or is someone trying to rip you off? And I also just heard, read the fine print. Read the fine print before agreeing to do anything, buy anything. And for some of you, it's about buying something. If you buy something, read the fine print, have a contract in place. Don't pay cash for something and not have a contract or bill of sale. That's really important for someone. Even if you think it's someone that you know well enough, you make sure you get some documentation. That is critically important. That's what that was about. Okay. Well, on that happy note, um, thank you all for being here. I love you all so much, and I love your perfect souls. And I was absolutely busted last night, so I could not respond. Oh, I didn't have the energy to respond to anything on the on the comment thread, but I am as soon as I start uploading this. I like reading those messages so much. And I did have to go to the grocery yesterday and buy more frozen cherries because I blew through those too. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, be well. I mentioned those in the video the other day. Um, so be well, be happy. Know that you are loved by spirit, by yourself, and by me. It's okay to be vulnerable. But just remember that you are incredibly strong as well. And you can take care of yourself. You know when to ask for help. Know when to ask for help, but know when to also just stand up and say, enough. I deserve better. Okay. Sending love to you all. Be well. And I will, uh, I will talk to you soon. I'm sorry, I'm itchy scratchy. <laughs> Bye.